natin. Right now, mga kaibigan, makakausap natin uh, walang iba kung hindi ang National Training Director ng Philippine Sports Commission and the Philippine Sports Institute. Walang iba kung this Mr. Mark Velasco. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, uh, Com. Uh, Noli. Uh, good morning sa lahat ng uh, nakikinig at nanonood dito sa Radio 5 Power and Play. Good morning, Thank Com. you very much for uh, taking our call and uh, napakaaga pero alam kong uh, laging uh, nandyan, lalong lalo si Chairman Butch Ramirez. Alam mo, I wanted to talk to you about itong nilabas ninyo na framework tool for reintroducing sports in a COVID-19 environment. No? Naglabas kayo recently and this is like a a guide para sa mga NSAs para kung paano nila muling masisimulan ang paglalaro ng kanilang respective sports. Now, let me just ask you first, ano naging paraan ninyo dito, Mark? How did you come up with this? And what was the rationale behind uh, coming up with the framework tool? Well, of course, uh, through the direction of Chairman Ramirez, uh, we anticipated that uh, once the restrictions mag ease off, especially coming up from uh, ECQ, uh, people might want to come back and engage into sport because right now we're in a health crisis and everybody uh, would have a mindset of being more health conscious. And with the PSCs uh, in partnership with the NSA, we were also expecting uh, how our athletes, our um, national athletes would be able to go back to, to training. So with the help of our sports doctors and other uh, professionals, we come up with this uh, tool framework. Uh, of course, we did also our research. We have also compared our, our framework with say, Bang Bansa, US, Australia, uh, even some of our references was coming from those uh, countries and uh, other sports institutions. So at the moment, we are still collecting uh, data also from our partner NSAs. Uh, most of okay. them already have submitted. And uh, we, we provided this framework for them to be able to guide them and to also para maging align tayo on how we can introduce the sport into so, you know, the COVID environment. So itong uh, framework tool na to, uh, Mark, uh, was done still with, in consultation with the NSAs? Yes, uh, especially when it comes to sports-specific activities, we actually asked the NSA to, to be involved in okay. uh, coming up with the tool. Anong idea dito? Will this be recommended to the IATF as well? Uh, will this be uh, adopted by the IATF sa kanilang mga guidelines? Uh, will this be mandatory sa mga NSAs and uh, the different sports? Do they have to submit anything uh, to the PSC uh, because of this? Uh, yes, itong, uh, itong uh, version na to was actually submitted to the Department of Health. Uh, we coordinated with the Department of Health. What we did in this version was more of a community guide on how to do physical activity, uh, on how to do uh, different sports. So if you look at one of the tables there, uh, we compartmentalized those five tables into uh, five levels, you know, from ECQ to the new normal. And Ooh. then we put our recommended activities. So okay. out of that five level, uh, isa lang po yung merong multi multiple person-to-person -person, uh, interaction, which is the new normal. So uh, we are at the moment, we, it's a guidelines. Uh, in the the level of community level classification we have talagang pinagbabawal pa yung person to person interaction okay uh, let's be very specific uh, puntahan natin ang basketball because uh, obviously yan ang pinaka popular na sport dito yep. at marami ang tatanong pwede ba kami maglaro ano ba dapat gawin no so sa sa larangan ng basketball mark uh, one of the guidelines that you've released is you know i've been break down nyo to no uh, depending on the status ng uh, quarantine in a particular area. So, can you just give us a little bit of a, a very brief uh, uh, outlook no step-by-step -step, uh, framework para makapagsimula muli ang basketball? Well, uh, obviously, uh, if we look at, uh, we start off from the MECQ or the ECQ. Sa ECQ, uh, we wrote there no person-to-person -person interaction with your own equipment. And then, um, in your own outdoor space so if you want to play basketball if you have a basketball in your own garage you can play basketball 
Okay. If you have the person with you in the house na magkasama na kaman na magkaya in one roof, you can play one on one, two on two. Doon sa MCQ, nakalagay doon, our recommended activity was no person-to-person, again, interaction, own equipment, meaning sariling basketball court, and you can do it outdoor. If you have sa labas ng garahe mo, even sa, in front of your gate, mm. maglabas ka ng basketball ring, maglaro ka on your own, we you can we can recommend you doing that. Uh, mm. May kulatilya dyan, we said that if that's if it does not violate yung barangay rules ninyo or yung barangay guidelines, okay. okay yan. But if that violates your barangay barangay rules, of course, yung paglalaro mo ng basketball, even if we recommended na mag, pwede ka na mag-basketball sa labas ng bahay mo, sa harap ng bahay mo, hindi po yung reason para mag-violate. So, going to the GCQ, uh, if mag-open or yung barangay mo mag-open ng basketball court for... Uh, your or even the subdivision mag open yung basketball court for 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 them to use you can play basketball given that you use your own equipment and you do not interact with somebody using the basketball ring sa kabilang side mm-hmm. so yun yung uh, recommended activities namin sa GCQ sa MGCQ naman sinasabi natin uh, no person to person interaction with public equipment and with the public indoor or outdoor facility and then merong uh, and you can also use public uh, basketball basketball kung if they provide a basketball provided that they they would also maintain the minimum health standard oh. Oh, so they okay. can clean up the basketball and yung okay. pagdating na sa new normal or sa when there is a vaccine which what we call it that's the time we can reintroduce your multiple interaction. We can do one on one with some with our friend, or two on two, three on three. So you know, so in other words, sa basketball only during the new normal. Under this framework, pwede maglaro ng actual game. That's the way yes. what you're saying. Yes, yes. Uh, yun na po okay. yung recommended namin na activity. Only in the framework, the is there any is there any discussion about uh, the possibility of? I mean, of the need for testing. Meron bang ganong klase sa framework na binibigay niyo? Well, that's one option. Uh, of course, we still have to follow the direction ng DOH, wherein the yung testing should be recommended by them. No, if they they allow it. But I, I guess uh, right now, even the private companies they start their own uh, rapid testing. Okay. So uh, this time, th- that can be done. If it pass, if it's possible, of course we're looking at the the community uh, uh, sense. No, if it if this is a PBA game, then I think the 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 board or govern, governors or the PBA itself can work with the DOH or IATF in how they can do about with their games. They can have a special arrangement for that. They can never have their own test. Uh, we've seen example of this in Korea where in they start they beginning to start small games of football games wala nga lang audience even audience. in Germany uh, some football games are already being started where in they do test with the athletes test with the officials so they can have their own arrangement yung mga professional leagues uh, ka- kami naman uh, we just recommend but if that is allowed by the DOH and IATF, which is the eventually they're the decision makers, then uh, I don't see any reason why they cannot do that. Okay, uh, just uh, a few, one final question. Uh, is, is this framework uh, continue, a continuing work? It's evolving, it by subject to review. And does this cover uh, all of the, even elite athletes, ito dapat na guidance? Well, uh, yes, this is just like uh, the IATF guidelines nagbabago po. So we have to adapt kung ano yung guidelines ng IATF and we have to adjust. Uh, obviously, uh, when it comes to per sports, uh, we, uh, we recommend, we ask the NSAs to give their inputs on this uh, guideline. Okay. So nagbibigay, some of them, are about 30 NSA already gave us their guidelines. So we'll be adapting that in the, the next version of the framework. Okay, and... Uh... Um, ang, ang, in other sports, um, paano nila makukuha ito? Uh, uh, are, are you sending all of this? And yeah, like, if I play, for instance, volleyball or lalaro ako, let's say, ng uh, tennis, uh, can I uh, can I see this? Ang nami mahanap ito? Yes, actually, for example, uh, if you play tennis, 
uh, we ask the association, or if you play volleyball, we ask the as a, as a, uh, volleyball association to provide us with their recommendations of activities based on their sport. Uh, actually included then there is how they would deal with the equipment and how would they deal with the venue as well as the audience. So they will provide us with those uh, parameters. So we will be working closely with the NSA regarding that. May, kasi, may mga nagtatanong sa akin kasi dito, Mark, na nabanggit natin yung basketball. Uh, what about volleyball daw? Uh, at saka itong uh, mga non-contact sports, kasama rin ba daw yun sa framework? And if they, kung meron ka na bang specific for, uh, let's say, volleyball, meron din bang breakdown from each uh, status ng quarantine? Uh, yes. Uh, right now, we are working with the volleyball association sa uh, yung nag-submit sa amin. And uh, uh, we, we will go back and forth with our doctors and their the, the volleyball officials kasi sila lang mas may alam sa sport. And we are actually currently working uh, with them on that, with their framework. Kasi we, we want as much as possible that it would not compromise yung health ng community. So okay. we'll be introducing that framework for them. Ano daw ang recommendation niyo with respect to swimming? Uh, pwede, na daw mag, uh, pwede na ba daw lumangoy uh, sa mga swimming pool under GCQ? Uh, right now, ito, uh, this is uh, the statement released by USA Swimming. They provided guide, guidelines on how you can do about swimming in a COVID environment. And I think our swimming association in the Philippines, they also are, is adapting a similar uh, framework uh, CDC recently uh, came out with uh, with a statement saying that uh, yung yung uh, contact sa uh, transmission sa water has not been conclusive. But okay. if if the if the community or the the government opens swimming pool, they still recommend uh, social distancing between swimmers. So they limit. Uh, swimmers in one lane, like one one swimmer per lane lang, and then they, they do not recommend using the the shower. It's 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 recommended to go in and get out immediately. So after you you go in, you do your workout, and then you you get off the water and then get off the the facility. So that's how USA Swimming uh, uh, recommends if your government would allow swimming. All right. Ito, uh, Mark, is there any guidance under the framework uh, tool na in the event magkaroon ng positive case during a particular, uh, uh, in a sport, no? Na muling magsha-shutdown yung sport? Uh, definitely, uh, it, once na IATF or DOH determines that there has been transmission on a specific area, specific group, uh, I think the law, the, they, are, uh, they are compelled to shut it down. So, Definitely, that's why uh, this framework is important to look at all the angles para we can cover everything and not be the source of transmission for, for our community. Okay. Well, uh, abangan natin yan and obviously marami mag, uh, magbabasa yan and uh, hopefully this will really be uh, a way for many of the NSAs, many of the sporting activities na makapagpasimula muli. At least meron silang pinagbabasihan and there's a, a chance that they can already prepare and uh, they can already uh, make sure na we meet the minimum health standards na nire-require ng ating uh, uh, IATF. Maraming salamat, Mark, for your time this morning. Maraming salamat, Kamnoli. Maraming salamat po sa lahat.